Here in this video we are going to learn binary subtraction of a fractional number. Here we will take three examples of different complexity to learn binary subtraction of a fraction number. And believe me the third one is the most complex out of all. So without wasting time let's get started. Subtraction of a fractional binary number is similar to the subtraction of fractional decimal number. So let me show you some basic rules. When you subtract 0 from 0 the answer is 0. When you subtract 0 from 1 the answer is 1. When you subtract 1 from 1 the subtraction is 0. But when you want to subtract 1 from 0 it is not possible. So at that time borrowing is needed. Because here you cannot subtract this 1 from 0. So why this happens and how this happens that I'll explain through one example. So now let's jump to that example. So here we are going to subtract these two fractional binary numbers and we'll start subtraction from the rightmost column which is this one and then we'll move towards the left hand side. So when you try to subtract this one from zero it is not possible because here straightforward subtraction won't work. So we need to borrow one from the next column. In binary numbers when we try to borrow one from the next column to the previous one the weightage of the next column is two times higher than the previous column. So when we borrow one from the next column to previous column the magnitude over here becomes two times higher and decimal two in binary is written as one zero and that is why we used to write one zero when we borrow one from the next column. Here you can see the weightage of each of the column. And from this it is very easy to understand right. So now here we are going to take borrow 1 from this next column to this previous one. So let's take borrow. So over here it becomes 1 0 and this place was initially 1 but we have taken this 1 to the previous column. So what's left over here it is 0. Now it's time to subtract this 1 from this 1 0. Actually this 1 0 is 2 in decimal and this 1 is 1 in decimal. So when you subtract 1 from 2 what's left? It is 1. So the same thing happens over here when you try to subtract this 1 from this 1 0 what will be left? It is 1. So that is why when you subtract 1 from 1 0 it gives us 1. Now in next column we are going to subtract 0 from 0 so that is 0. Now when we jump to the next column in between there is a point. So we are going to place the point at the same place as it is given in these two numbers. Now we will go for this column 1 minus 1 gives us 0, 0 minus 0 gives us 0, 1 minus 0 gives us 1 and 1 minus 1 gives us 0. So this is the answer of this subtraction. This one was simple right because I want to clear this logic of subtraction. Now we will go for a little bit more complex subtraction and here we have these terms to subtract with each other. So we will start with the rightmost column this one subtract 1 from 1 gives us 0. Now here you try to subtract this 1 from 0 it is not possible. So what we will do we will jump to the next column. So we will try to borrow 1 from this column to this column. Remember though there is a point in between these two column but the magnitude of this column is 2 times higher than this column. So when you borrow 1 from this column to this column it will become 2 times high right. So let's borrow 1 from here to here it becomes 1 0. So we have borrowed 1 so what's left over here it's 0. Now it's time to subtract this 1 from 1 0. So 1 0 minus 1 gives us 1. We'll place this point as it is. Now here try to subtract this 1 from 1 0 it is not possible. So again we'll try to take borrow from the next column. So let's borrow from this 1. So it becomes 1 0 over here and 0 left over here. So when you subtract this 1 from 1 0 we will get 1 as subtraction and we will jump to the next column 0 minus 0 that gives us 0 and 1 minus 1 gives us 1. So that's how you can do subtraction of this fraction binary number and now it's time for the third and the most complex subtraction. But before heading towards that I would like to ask you are you enjoying learning this fractional binary subtraction? If your answer is yes then do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel because your that small effort means a huge appreciation for me. So keep motivating these type of creators and they will keep creating such a beautiful content. So now let's move to the next subtraction. 
So here we are going to subtract these two numbers and we'll start with the rightmost column. So we cannot subtract 1 from 0, so we'll jump to the next column, borrow 1 from this column, it becomes 1, 0 over here. So now we can subtract this 1 from 1, 0. When we borrow 1, what's left here? It's 0. And now we can subtract this 1 from this 1, 0. So what we get? We'll get 1. Now we'll jump to the next column. Here we are trying to subtract this 1 from this 0, but it is not possible. So what we'll do? We'll ask for the borrow to the next column. But here the next column is not capable enough to give borrow. So what we'll do? First we'll make this column capable enough to give borrow to the previous column. So how we can make this column capable enough? For that we'll ask for the borrow to the next column, this one. And it is capable enough. That's great, right? So we'll take borrow from this column to this column and it becomes 1, 0 over here. Now when this column becomes 1, 0, it is capable enough to give borrow to the previous column. So now we can ask borrow that please give me 1 as borrow. And now it says, okay, you take 1 as borrow because I have 1, 0. So now we'll take borrow from this place. But before that, let's see when we take borrow from this place, what's left over here? That is 0, right? And now let's take borrow to this place. So when you take borrow 1 from this place to this place, it becomes 1, 0. Now when you take 1 from this 1, 0, what's left? 1 will be left. And now let's come to this column. Here we are going to subtract this 1 from 1, 0. So what's left? It's 1. Place the point as it is at the same location. And then jump to the next column. We are going to subtract this 1 from this one. We'll get 0. And then we'll go for the next column. Now here we are going to subtract this 1 from the 0. But it is not possible. So again we'll ask borrow to the next column. It has 1 so it can give borrow. So let's take borrow and it becomes 1, 0 over here and 0 over here. So when you subtract this 1 from 1, 0, 1 will left. And in next column, when you subtract 0 minus 0, 0 will left. So the answer of final subtraction is 10.11. 1, 1. If you want to verify that the answer is correct or not, then how can you do it? Just convert this number into decimal and this number into decimal and do it decimal subtraction and then compare that this binary is equivalent to this decimal subtraction or not. These two binary subtraction is provided here for your self practice. Solve it right now and write the answer in comments to check your answer is correct or not. And if you want to learn binary multiplication and division then you can refer these two videos. To learn all the arithmetic operations with octal and hexadecimal number you can refer this playlist. And to explore entire digital electronics with animation you can refer this playlist. So see you into the next video.